perspective on the th growing threat of synthetic drugs such as fentanyl in the U.S. Since 2018, law enforcement agencies have seen a dramatic rise in fentanyl seizures. The number of pills confiscated rose more than 50 times in a, a four-year period. ABC7 spoke exclusively to former U.S. Marshal Robert Almonte, who says the problem should be now considered a crisis that the federal government should and can do a lot more to combat the trafficking of the dangerous drug. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it's the crisis, and uh, I just don't understand why we're not doing more to get a handle on this situation and, and stopping the flow of the fentanyl coming into our country uh, by the Mexican cartel. Uh, it, it's just more lives are going to be lost, and that's, that's a sad thing. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than 107,000 people died from drug overdoses in the U.S. in 2021. Out of those, more than 71,000, or 66.5 percent, were fentanyl-related deaths. That was a 23 percent rise from the total number of deaths related to the synthetic drug from a year before. One of the reasons now Monte believes it has become more challenging to stop the drug traffickers is due to the fact that Border Patrol and CBP agents are focused on handling large numbers of immigrants coming into the U.S. and have fewer resources available for drug enforcement and says it is time to add more agents and resources to the southwest border to prevent the problem from escalating even further. They're not getting the help and support that they, they need. They're, they're really overwhelmed with the uh, immigration situation that we're, uh, we're being faced with right now. So our Border Patrol agents are, are tied up processing uh, these migrants, undocumented migrants that are, are trying to come into the United States. Last year, federal officials confiscated 10,000 pounds of fentanyl. The vast majority, about 90 percent, was seized at ports of entry. El Monte says that putting more resources there to conduct more thorough inspections is one of the ways the U.S. can make a dent against drug trafficking. He argues the federal government should take similar action as it did in the 80s at the height of the trafficking of cocaine. That's what it's going to take, something like that, where we just hit them with everything we got, everything we got. And it's basically, I'm not saying to inspect every single vehicle, but as many as you can. But the bottom line is that, you know, we're losing a lot of Americans to, to this poison, this fentanyl, and, and I'm, I'm angry that we're not more angry about it. Just a couple of weeks ago, we reported how the DEA of El Paso is calling the rise of fentanyl overdoses here in the borderland and calling the problem an epidemic. According to the DEA of El Paso, the amount of fentanyl seized in the borderland in the past 12 months is greater than the amount confiscated in the previous five years combined.